were necessary to complete the rite. I made the second matanya, and this time I repeated the same words that I had said before. And this time, when I came to, to complain of being motherless, when I said, my mother has died and I feel, I feel sad and alone, I was bending my head down on, on the ground and I heard a voice behind my head. From, from somewhere behind my head, I heard a voice say, I will be your mother. And I didn't know who was speaking. I heard the voice clearly. It was a beautiful voice. It was soft, but it was clear. It was, it was sweet, but it was strong. It was a very affecting female voice. And she said, I will be your mother. In English, I said, I will be your mother. And I didn't know who was speaking. So I thought perhaps one of the Serbian women had heard me crying or heard my voice and came to support me. So I looked to the left and to the right to see if any woman had come to offer her help. But no one was there. I was alone. Then I repeated the words and again the voice came, I will be your mother. So this time I was determined to, to find out. I lifted up my eyes and the icon was in front of me on the wall and as I lifted up my eyes St. Mary moved out of the icon and stood in front of me not her whole body but it was an icon of her her top, her to the waist and she was in the icon holding Jesus she herself alone, she just moved out she put her head out of the icon like the icon remained on the wall, completely undisturbed, but she, she appeared as a presence in front of it. And she bent her head toward me and she looked at me eye to eye. And she smiled and she said, I will be your mother for the third time. And when she smiled, she was so lovely. And she was so loving. And her words just took all the pain out of my, out of my heart. And gave me hope and gave me faith and gave me a belief in myself again. All of this happened in an instant of time when she said, I will be your mother. And in that moment, I was, I was made new. I was reborn, if you like. I was made new, made into a new man. By her love, by her eyes, her smile, her voice, her presence. It was something electric which just filled me with, with, a, with a presence. And then she started to give off light. Her whole body started to, to shine and I had to lower my eyes and bend my head down. So I made the third matanya and I finished. <laughs>